Messages of goodwill have continued to pour in for President Tunubu as he turns 72. The president has chosen to go about the business of governing the country and has asked that no celebrations hold. But despite this, the messages are coming in. Members of the president's cabinet and some of his political uh, associates acknowledge the president's effort at ensuring good governance and improving livelihood. President Bola Tinubu has asked that his birthday should be celebrated low-key without the usual fanfare. He said because of the present mood of the country and the killing of officers and men of the army and police in Delta State and the spate of security breaches across the country, there should be no form of birthday event. The, president and the, commander in chief of the Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawale, insists the president's efforts and directive to guarantee the safety of lives and property has paid off. He um, gave us the mandate that we must listen to people and we must do what is right and we should make sure that uh, we uh, bring the level of insecurity to a, a minimal, uh, very level. President Bola Tinubu means so much to different people. His ministers appreciate his leadership and they are glad to have the opportunity to serve. Uh, Nigerians are now a close confidant and political ally of the president. Honorable James Faleke described the president as a special child. He acknowledged President Tinubu's contribution to the country. He says his transformative leadership has improved the state of the nation. The gain is enormous because everybody will now start to gain the benefits of this reform. So for me, he has come at a difficult time and he's weathering the storm. Nigeria is going to be better under Bola Ahmed. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment wished the President more wisdom to steer the affairs of the country. Mr. President, I would like to wish you a happy birthday with long life and prosperity. May God continue to bestow upon you continued grace, continued wisdom, courage, health, and everything that you require to turn this country around. Hanatsu Musawa, the Minister of Arts, Culture, and Creative Economy, is excited that President Tinubu is interested in harnessing the potentials and economic opportunities in the art and creative industry. One of the great things that has to be attributed to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the fact that he opened up the new Ministry of Art, Culture and Creative Economy. The foresight that the President has had to open up this space in a way that we can give something back to a new generation, I think it's absolutely genius and I think, you know, history is going to really judge him well. The governor of Niger State, Mohammed Omar Bagu, in faraway Saudi Arabia, sends his best wishes to the president, a man he considers to be his mentor and a firm believer in the agricultural revolution that will create wealth and value for Nigerians, especially rural dwellers. My father, this is to wish you a very wonderful birthday in this wonderful month of Ramadan and in this wonderful box of Anna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to use this opportunity on behalf of myself and the United States to wish you more and last blessings, to wish you long life and prosperity, to wish you a return of Nigeria back to his prosperity. There are different prayers organized for the president by the two main religious faiths. There are also different charitable gestures to commemorate the president's 72nd birthday. But President Tinubu says he wants to remain focused on governance and improving the fortunes of Nigerians. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the special child, the special man, happy birthday to you. Happy 72nd birthday, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. I wish my father, the President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 
uh, Hafiz Tron, years of 72 years to the Moro Inshallah. Temi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.